Well, workers are waiting to start officially fixing US 36 near Wadsworth until the ground stops moving and shifting. And that means drivers are still driving on a condensed highway. Nine News reporter Liz Kodalik is live there this morning. And Liz, this really has turned into a big mess. Oh yeah, no kidding. You can see the highway collapsing behind us. CDOT is saying that this thing is moving about uh, an inch an hour and it's been doing that for the past week or so. And then really you could see the damage starting last Thursday night into Friday. So this is definitely something that is a problem out here and a big problem for those of us who need to take 36 to wherever you're going this morning. CDOT had to close both directions of the highway overnight to move fiber optic cables. Everything reopened around 3 this morning. Eastbound drivers will be able to still use the highway between Wadsworth and Church Ranch on the westbound side. There's a concrete barrier separating them. Now, CDOT is calling this a landslide that most likely began because of unstable ground. There was a lake on this side of US 36 that's now a wetland that's most likely part of the issue here. <laughs> it's a big issue, that's for sure. So who's responsible for this mess is the big question. And how much is this going to cost? CDOT has estimated tens of millions of dollars, and the Transportation Legislation Review Committee will be responsible for helping figure out who gets that huge bill. Our Marshall Zellinger spoke to State Senator Faith Winter and Representative Matt Gray, who are members of that committee. Representative Gray is the chair, and they both said they're going to have committee meetings and try to figure out who's responsible testimony from CDOT, as well as the designers and the construction managers of this project to figure out what went wrong here and why this wasn't built to be able to withstand uh, this kind of traffic on this kind of soil. So back out here live, Marshall also talked to Governor Polis about this and Governor Polis said we're just going to have to wait and see what happens in this testimony and what we find out in all of that for who is going to foot that bill. So this could take months and months, Corey, for this even to get figured out out on top of the fact that we're still waiting for the ground to stop moving before CDOT can actually get on here and start making repairs. You saw that video, Corey, a huge hole here. This is going to take quite some time. Yeah, that's the thing. They can have all these plans, but until it stops shifting, nothing can really happen. Right. All right, Liz, thank right. you.